an epic cross-country road trip. And leading this road trip is going to be right here behind me is this seventh generation Mustang. ever seventh generation Mustang. It's going to be on September 14th at 8 p.m. at the Detroit Auto Show and we invite all of you to join us. Find you all well and in great spirits. We are back from Detroit. We got so much to unpack, break down the S650 2024 Mustang reveal that wasn't. Let's talk about what I did learn though because I did corner all the S650 staff for the Mustang at the Detroit Woodward Cruise Show and ask them all the questions you guys have asked me in the comments. I'll tell you what they told me and we're gonna discuss everything else I saw. Raptor R, all that good stuff and what's going forward with the X50 official reveal in Detroit, which we will be at. But without further ado, let's get into the Hulk. Miss this beautiful 500 here. Let's get back into the Hulk, get a cold start. And let's have a talk about everything we learned. Saw a lot of nice GT500s, but they were stock. This guy, built motor, 3.8 Whipple. It's cold start time. Let's go. fam i had to switch camera mounts <laughs> from the windshield because my iphone was actually overheating with the sun hitting it so you're gonna have to kind of look at my <laughs> at this angle for a while instead of me looking at you directly but i want to talk about what what the heck happened with this non-reveal fake reveal i mean i try to be objective i thought that was a bad idea i didn't have it i was told in an email that Ford's gonna reveal something about the s650 in detroit i was like yo Let's go. I drove 10 hours, um, but Ford was very hospitable. I don't want to like trash them for that. They were very hospitable. They let me drive uh, some GT500s, the uh, Eruption Green, the Mischievous Purple. They let me look at the Raptor R and I had a great time and it was awesome. The Woodward Cruise is a great event. I recommend it, it, you know, it's akin to like a Mustang week and a day. So I would say definitely go check it out if you can. It's just a great all around, it's uh, for all cars, not just Mustangs, but I would definitely go. But let me talk about what happened. So like, I go there and I'm like, you know, I expect to see some big uh, YouTubers there. Maybe like uh, D Doug DeMuro or like, uh, you know, he's probably one of the biggest, or I thought maybe I'd see like, I don't know, TFO Car, those kind of people I thought, or Raddy's Rides, like, oh, these guys would be there to see this reveal early. Uh, and I didn't see them, so I was like, okay, well, maybe they have, a, they have this, this, this silky tarp over. And I thought, okay, this silky tarp, tarp is over the, the Mustang. It's got to be something. Maybe it's got to be. This is crazy. Like, they wouldn't do it. Like, they wouldn't just have this car out here with the tarp over it and just do what I think they would do. I said it, too. I was like, they better not, uh, <laughs> they better not just do a reveal of the, the camo car that we've been all talking about for, like, months now. <laughs> That's exactly what they did. Right here behind me is this seventh generation Mustang. So this year we're going to further amp it up by inviting our Mustang owners to come along on the journey with us. It's going to go across nine states uh, and have over 12 stops. The last stop will be at Ford's World Headquarter on September 14th. And we're going to invite Mustang owners to join us in a parade of Mustangs from World Headquarters downtown to Hard Plaza for the Stampede. Um, so, you know, I was disappointed just like you. Uh, I went live and had to, like, you know, 
eat some crow because I was like, oh, sorry, guys. You know, I'll try to bring it to you coverage live, but it was basically... But I did get to see what I want to showcase these videos. I did get to have the, what I was told was the, the actual S650 2024 Mustang was that underneath the camel. So Ford's thing was, or their marketing idea was, hey, this is the car they're going to drive in this big, huge cruise from, I think, Tacoma, Washington to Detroit. A whole cruise, and that car will lead them, right? So I was like, okay, I get it. Super disappointed when you get nothing, not even an interior shot. So after it was all said and done, Ford hosted the people that were there with dinner and drinks at the restaurant. So it was nice. And I like, I went over to the four people. I was like, bro, dude, what was that, man? You're killing me. And I said, I came with an idea. They said they liked it, but I don't know if they're going to implement it. I was like, why don't you just at least give us a headlight, give us a light bulb, give us a, 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 a tail light, give us a, a bumper or a front grill or an interior dash. And then what you should do is as you do this cruise up until September 14th, peel off a piece of camo as you do the cruise every time. I thought that was a good idea. I mean, anything would have been better than what they did, but I mean, Ford has not really been like, they're, they're just super nice people. They're not like, you know, Mopar just got, they got it down pat. They make things like a movie. They make it like, dramatic and they make it like you know it's it's we're gonna kick your your butt you know that's what Mo, i love mopar how they get you hyped for their products ford's very family fun you know lovable teddy bear kind of deal like and that's okay but for mustang you know <laughs> i was like yo let's get some badassery up in here what's up you know but they thought it was a cute little thing. You know, I was disappointed. Um, and, you know, like I said, I, I am blessed. And I, I thank you for all the people who have subscribed lately. We got some more subscribers in. The content from the Woodward Cruise has done tremendous. So I thank you. Uh, we have really good views. Uh, that helps pay the bills. So I appreciate everyone liking, subscribing, and sharing. That helps out a lot. Um, but so I told them, let's do that for the reveal. And then I told them, hey, listen. What can you tell me about the S650, right? What can you tell me of the 2024? What have we been saying has been right? And what have we been saying has been wrong? And the chief engineer on the S650 hit me up. It was like, I've been watching your stuff, which was flattering. And he said, some of it's right, some of it's wrong. I was like, okay. But what I did realize, he did say something revealing. He said, when I saw the video of your reveal, it, it broke my heart because I think he, we, what basically what we've seen, what he said that most of the basically interior spy shots are spot on. We're gonna get a brand new interior from the ground up. No more double brow. He didn't wanna say it was driver centric, but it was very Nissan Z inspired. Dual screens, both on the centralized dash and of course the speedometer. Uh, kind of focus more towards driver, not C8 style, but it's going to be at that level. Um, so we'll see, uh, that's, that's gonna be their big thing. It is, uh, he didn't wanna admit it, but he said basically what did also break his heart was that, that front reveal where most of the renders are close. Um, of course, I'm gonna say it's not the real thing, but we're, I'm pretty sure by just surmising what I've seen that what we did see and what we've been reporting on is pretty much 80, 90% there. This looks much smaller than S550. It looks smaller to me than the S550 actually. One of the things I'm curious about, we are we not gonna see a back seat in the S650? I don't know. I'm gonna say we're still gonna have one, but it looks smaller. Um, one of the, the thing that the chief designer did, uh, engineer did tell me, his favorite part of the car is actually the rear end, which nobody, including I don't have, has any good spy shots or renders. So the, the rear end is something that remains to be seen. So that's a whole other aspect of it. So we'll see how that goes as we unpack that. Um, so what I do know, we can confirm, of course, 2.3 liter, 5.0 is gonna be there. Six speed Tremec, 10 speed auto, power plant, brand new interior, ground up, 
totally redone. Uh, the 5.0, we're not gonna see if I want a horsepower. I've asked on, I, I inferred through discussing about it, there were some reports it's gonna be 500 plus horsepower. I don't believe so. I'd love to be wrong. That could be saved for a Boss 429, 302 kind of tribute S650. I don't think it's gonna be in the GT model. Um, hybrid is to come down the road and eventually a full EV. S650 was most likely going to be the last V8 Mustang, uh, you know, sports car. Uh, but that's a whole generation. That's, I'd say six to seven years. So we're, we're not totally dead yet. We have like, you know, Mopar totally just killed the Challenger and, and Charger, but we're not dead yet. It, with a V8, especially the 5.0 is going to live on. Uh, no 5.2. 5.2 is going to live on in the Raptor and uh, some other applications. And that's kind of what I learned. I wanted to tell you what I what I found out, what I learned, what I experienced with the 2024. So interior is all new. They're super proud of that. The guy said, <clears throat> the guy said the rear end is amazing. No one knows about that. Front end, I think we're pretty much close and spot on to as far as the renders are concerned. And power plant 2350, 10 speed six-speed Tremec. We shall see. We shall see. What's going to happen with me is I'll be back in Detroit at the Detroit Auto Show for the reveal. Thank you so much for the support and subscribing. We've been invited to see an early showing, but it is embargoed. So I will be seeing it before the official reveal, but I'll have it embargoed. But of course, I'll bring it to you when the embargo lifts, probably the day of before the official reveal. I have to figure that all out with the permissions, but we'll bring that to you I'll, I'll give you all the coverage I can. Ask me below what you want me to showcase or look into. Didn't get an idea about pricing. They didn't talk about the dealer markups. Um, that's basically all I got. It's not every day we get a, a next generation Mustang. This is it. The seventh generation Mustang is here. So uh, I'm excited. I hope you are too. We'll bring in that coverage and um, we'll go from there. I'm going to say for the next video, we have some Raptor R exclusive content coming up. And then I'm going to take a little bit of a break from YouTube until we're back in Detroit for the reveal. And, you know, got to get the kids ready for school, get ready for the fall. And last but not least, if you haven't know, if you didn't know, we're giving away my Harley at on3supply.com. There's about 120 spots left. Once those spots sell out, that giveaway ends. And we call the winner live at Harley Stars and Stripe in PA. And, uh, you can win, a, you can win a, a really cool Harley 2021 Street Bob. Um, best odds anywhere to win a Harley. All right, on this link in the description. Appreciate the support because you know it never ends. Peace.